Good morning friends. Today we are going to study about property of light. We learn that light is not made up of a single color and we can make light split into different colors. We will study that light consists of seven colors as you can see on my background. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Now Let's begin. Primary and secondary colors. Before we start, let us play a game. Let us see who memorizes this fast. Chief Ministers, Great Bihar Rally, why? Chief Ministers Great Bihar Rally Why? Now that can be represented by alphabets C M G B R Y C stands for Cyan M stands for Magenta G stands for Green B stands for blue and R stands for red and Y for yellow. Green, blue and red are the primary colors. Cyan, magenta and yellow are the secondary colors. Now, green plus blue gives cyan. Blue plus red gives magenta and green plus red gives yellow very easy to remember green plus blue cyan blue plus red magenta and green plus red yellow here green blue and red are the primary colors of light. Also remember green plus blue plus red equals white and cyan, magenta and yellow are the secondary colors. Also remember cyan plus magenta plus yellow white because cyan is green plus blue, magenta is blue plus red and yellow is green plus red so that gives white because green is twice blue is twice red is twice so we can write G B R plus G B R white plus white that is white now what you have learned just now Chief Minister's Great Bihar Rally is called a mnemonic aid that is an aid to memory how to remember? Now let's begin your chapter. Primary and secondary colors. White light is a combination of a spectrum of different colors added together. White light can be produced by combining only three distinct frequencies of light, provided that they are widely separated on the Y visible light spectrum. Let us read about the different colors of light. Here are the primary colors. Colors that cannot be obtained by mixing any other colors but can produce other colors when mixed together are called primary colors. The three primary colors of light are red, green and blue. These three colors are also called the basic colors of light. Now secondary colors, you can see in the diagram. The colors produced by mixing any two primary colors are called secondary colors or composite colors like magenta, cyan and yellow are secondary colors. Now let us see our mnemonic aid. From this also we can see red plus blue magenta. You can see in the mnemonic aid. Blue plus green cyan and red plus green yellow 
when all three primary colors are mixed together they produce white light now here is an activity aim to form the white light by using three primary colors <coughs> you need three torches cellophane papers of red green and blue color procedure cover the three torches with red green and blue cellophane papers so as to so sorry so that they produce red green and blue co blue color light respectively now switch on the torches and project all the three colors colored light on a white screen or a wall at the same point observe you will observe that the area where all the colors overlap or the area where all the colored lights overlap appears white conclusion when all three primary colors are mixed together they produce white light you can see in the diagram the central portion now some question answers from your book here it is talking about the colored powders that is used for decoration during festivals or for holi the question is are all these colors safe to use why why not answer is no they may have harmful chemicals second one number b how do the chemicals present in these colors affect us how do these chemicals cause water pollution answer they may cause skin cancer second part these chemicals when mixed in water can harm aquatic plants and animals now appearance of the color of an object do you know why objects appear different in color this is due to the phenomenon of absorption and reflection of light the color of an object is not in the object but in the light which is reflected from the object when light hits an object some of the light is absorbed and some of the light is reflected the light that is reflected is the color of the object in that light for example a blue object appears blue because it absorbs all the colors of the light except blue and it reflects the blue color of light white object appears white because they reflect all the colors and no color is absorbed black objects appear black because they absorb all the colors and no color is reflected however if only red light is thrown on a white piece of paper the paper will appear red not white because only red light is available to be reflected thus we conclude that the two factors that determine the color of an object are the color that the object reflects or absorbs the color present in the light that is thrown on the object next we come to a <clears throat> phenomenon that is formation of a rainbow a rainbow is a natural band of colors formed in the atmosphere just after the rain if the sun comes out a rainbow can be seen in the sky when the white light coming from the sun passes through tiny water droplets present in the atmosphere it splits now here in the figure you can see the white light as it is entering the raindrop first it is broken into band of seven colors that is this person you can also see reflection taking place inside and this band of seven colors is emitted from the raindrop and reaches your eyes as the seven different colors now let's come back to the topic it splits into seven colors due to the <coughs> dispersion and reflection these seven colors of light reach our eyes and we see them the seven colors in a rainbow are violet 
indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. In brief, colors of a rainbow can be written as Vib gear. You can remember that. Now let's come to color subtraction. The process of determining the color of an object when a light of a single color or a mixture of colors is thrown on the object is known as color subtraction. The color that is absorbed is subtracted from the original light. Consider that white light is thrown on a shirt. We can also say that a mixture of red, green and blue light is thrown on the shirt because red, green and blue are the primary colors which make the white light. If the shirt absorbs only red light, then red color is subtracted from the white light and we will get green and blue light which will be reflected from the shirt. Green and blue light reaching our eyes will give the appearance of the color cyan. That is the shirt will appear cyan. Let us take the help of our mnemonic aid. Here you can see white minus red and white is green plus blue plus red as I told you. So green plus blue plus red minus red. What is left? green plus blue and green plus blue gives cyan so it will appear as cyan now suppose that instead of white light yellow light is thrown on the same shirt a shirt that was made of the material capable of absorbing red light that means the shirt absorbs red light does not reflect it what color will such a shirt appear in yellow light? Now to solve this, the color of shirt in this case can be determined as yellow, that is the color of the light thrown on the shirt, minus red, because red is absorbed. Now, from our mnemonic aid, we know that yellow is green plus red or red plus green. Now green plus red or you can say red plus green minus red what is left? Only green is left. Therefore the shirt will appear green. From the above two examples we conclude that a shirt appears cyan when white light is thrown on it. And the same shirt appears green in color when yellow light is thrown on it. Color subtraction. The process of determining the color of an object when a light of single color or a mixture of colors is thrown on it. Now check your progress. Speed of light in water 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Second, which of the following is not a color of the rainbow? Of course that is brown which is not the color of rainbow. Third, which of the following is a primary color? That is blue. Now some more questions. Choose the correct option. Reflection of light occurs when light is bounced back by the object. Second, the plane containing the reflected ray and the normal is called plane of reflection. Third, if a ray of light is incident perpendicularly on a plane mirror, the angle of incidence will be, of course, zero degree. Fourth, red plus blue. We can take the help of our mnemonic aid on top, you can see in that red plus blue or you can say blue plus red is magenta. So here the answer is magenta. Fill in the blanks. In a mirror, the image formed is virtual, erect and laterally inverted. The two types of mirrors are 
प्लेन मिरर्स एंड स्पियरिकल मिरर्स थर्ड अकेलेडियोस्कोप इज यूज फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग कलरफुल पैटर्न इन ओल्डन डेज वेन कंप्यूटर वॉज नॉट मच इन यूज दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉज टू वॉज यूज टू क्रिएट कलरफुल पैटर्न टू बी प्रिंटेड ऑन सारीज एंड अदर ड्रेस मेटेरियल व्हाइट माइनस रेड फ्रॉम आवर न्यूमोनिक एड वी नो ग्रीन प्लस ब्लू प्लस रेड इज व्हाइट देर फॉर व्हाइट की जगह we can write green plus blue plus red minus red what is left is green plus blue and we can see on top green plus blue is cyan rainbow occurs naturally in the atmosphere now write true and false according to the law of reflection the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection that is true in case of a plane mirror the size of image is different from the size of object that is false both the sizes are the same third the three primary colors are red green and yellow that is false the three primary colors are red green and blue fourth if we subtract red from yellow we get green that is true name the following after reflection right side of an object appears to be on the left side in its image that is called lateral inversion number 2 an actual representation of an object that is image an instrument used by submarines to observe objects above the surface of water that is a periscope the color produced by mixing any two primary colors of light secondary colors part 2 physics light spectrum two important personalities dr thomas young and helmholtz they gave the famous young helmholtz color theory the most generally accepted theory of color sensation was proposed by dr thomas young and later elaborated by helmholtz it is based on the three primary colors green blue and red according to this theory the retina of the eyes is provided with three sets of nerves each set being sensitive to one of the three primary colors if all the three sets of nerves are equally stimulated we receive the sensation of white of course blackness or darkness is the result of no stimulation did you know the black print that you are reading your eyes are not actually seeing something interesting now let's come back when red waves enter the eye they stimulate the nerves that produce the sensation of red if only those nerves that are sensitive to green are stimulated then the sensation of green is produced in the brain when yellow light enters the brain both the red and the green sets of nerves are stimulated because yellow is a secondary color remember green blue and red are primary colors of light cyan magenta and yellow are secondary colors of light got by adding two primary colors cyan is equal to green plus blue magenta is equal to blue plus red and yellow is equal to green plus red and we have studied a mnemonic aid how to remember look at that chief minister's great bihar rally very easy to remember and that gives all the combination complementary colors now this complementary colors is a pair consisting of a primary and a secondary color which combine to give white light for example green is a primary color combines with magenta secondary color to give white and you know know that magenta is blue plus red so that means green plus blue plus red of course that is white similarly you can see blue plus yellow and red plus cyan the secondary colors already contain two primary colors and when combined with the proper remaining primary color will of course give white light now let's come back we were talking about yellow light when yellow light enters the brain both the red and green sets of nerves are stimulated 
Thus, all the colors <coughs> and shades are produced by the proper stimulation of one, two or three sets of color nerves. These color nerves or cone cells are S cones, sensitive to short wavelength, M cones, sensitive to medium wavelength, and L cones, sensitive to longer wavelength. Now here you see a glass prism. A white ray of light is incident on one surface and on entering the surface it breaks up into seven colors. This breaking up is called dispersion of light. Now when these colors reach the second surface there is no more breaking. They only separate out further. You can see all the seven colors. Now these seven colors can be categorized as short wavelength, medium wavelength and longer wavelength. The shorter wavelength includes violet, indigo, blue. They were called bright blue or simply you can say blue. That is deducted by the S cones of the retina of the human eye. The S cones deduct the shorter wavelength. The next category is medium wavelength. That is green plus yellow. That is deducted by the M cones of the retina and that is called green also and the longer wavelength including the red and orange is deducted by the L cones of the retina. So these are the three nerve ends which deduct blue, green and red. Now the electromagnetic spectrum contains visible and invisible part. The invisible parts are gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, infrared and radio waves. We can see only a small portion of it that is a visible light which is from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer and this contains the seven colors as you can see in the diagram. That is all for today. We will meet again very soon. You see in your absence how green the field is. The grasses have grown so big. And that is all for today. We will meet again very soon. Till then.